Good morning, everybody. Today is awesome. I'm so happy to be alive. We are out here in Southern Florida. Today we're fishing an awesome lake. We're gonna be fishing underneath some bridges today. The goal is to catch peacock bass. I don't care how many, I don't care the size. The goal is just to get on some peacocks. Being from Indiana, central and northern Indiana, you just don't get this, this type of option very often. So being this far south, super excited. 1,300 miles south today. Let's see if we can rip some lips and uh, who knows, anything's possible. They got all kinds of different species in here, exotics, just your regular large mouths. So uh, let's do it. Today's bait of choice is live shiners. We're just using a number two to a number four hook and uh, that should be best because you don't want these fish to know that they're getting hooked and they can see that hook pretty easy. So you really want to use something like a monofilament or a fluorocarbon. That way they just can't see that line real well. But let's, let's do it. Let's get in the water. Hooked up. Oh, no, 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 no. First cast. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. There we go, hooked up. First fish of the day, and what do we got? Looks like a nice peacock bass, absolutely. Yes, it is. First peacock, baby. Let's do it. There we go, I have been here five minutes. Third cast, second bite. I am as urban fishing as you can get. I am, I'm so downtown, it's unbelievable. Third cast peacock. Super pumped right now. We're gonna let him go, kind of nice and easy. There he goes, right back down. Awesome. You really want to try to get up as close to these pillars as you can with these baits. A lot of these peacocks like structure, and that's where they'll be sitting most of the time. It's right on any structure, whether it's a pipe or a bridge pier. There's one. Oh man, nice. Oh man, that was a monster bowfin. Monster, that was like a six, seven pounder. Goodness. There we go, nice fish. Nice fish, hooked up real tight. Another peacock. There we go. Man, these things are feisty. I was just about to give up on that live shiner, but I was twitching it kind of like a little bit of a jerk bait, kind of trying to make it look like it's alive. And sure enough, we got one more down. Beautiful red in the fins, gorgeous fish. Probably right at about a pound and a half, not a monster. I know there's much, much larger in here, six, seven, eight pounders, but that'll work. There he goes. Whatever that was, just busted my line. I completely pulled the knot out. What the heck? That was a good knot too, I thought. There's one. Looks like a nice fish. Oh, we got another nice peacock. Yes, 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 yes. Very cool. They all seem to be right about that same pound and a half size, but another one. That one was kind of on a, like a semi-dead bait. I don't know if they want a little bit slower now or what. So I threw the live one in there a few times, but maybe he's just too lively to get away. But got another peacock. Awesome fish. There he goes. Right back down to the pillars. There we go. Another pea. Very cool. I think they are coming through right now. This one's much prettier than the last couple. So if you look, this guy's definitely been caught before because he's got two punctures. But that's a beautiful, beautiful peacock bass. That's the biggest one. Coming up on two pounds, I'd say. But yeah, I think they're definitely coming through possibly in schools, you know? Because I keep getting blank spots where I'm not having anything to do. And then all of a sudden I get two, three baits in the water and they all go off at the same time. Another incredible peacock bass. 
Them live shiners work excellent. I gotta put him back now. We've got some rain getting ready to show up, so. We've got some rain getting ready to pop in on me. Storms are looking a little rough out there. So hopefully we can get in maybe another hour before we gotta get going. But the wind's picking up now, you can tell. Sorry about the audio, but uh, we're gonna keep going for now. I got a few more baits, and once the baits run out or the rain starts, that's when we're gonna head out. So let's get back after it, catch more peas. Gotta horse out another one. Man, he's pulling hard. Beautiful, beautiful peacock bass. Incredible colors on this. Man. And this is a male. Beautiful colors. Look at all the speckles in there. Awesome fish. And you can tell it's a male because he's got a little bit of a hump there. Not a massive one, but still enough that you can tell it's a male. Beautiful fish. Awesome, man. Awesome. Having a heck of a day out here. This is definitely my new record. Five in one day. Here we go. It's only 8.30 a.m. too. Return back to the wild. Hopefully they get a lot bigger. I'd like to see one big one before we go, but we'll see what happens. Got one. Got him. Oh, come on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, that's a big one. Aha, got him. Another peacock, beautiful colors. A little bit different than the last one, but I'm uh, gonna go for the release now. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hooked up. Nice fish. Oh, he's got me on the pillar. I just caught an absolute monster. That is a beast. Holy smokes. Monster. That might be my biggest bass of my life. Beast. Absolute behemoth. 5.57 pounds. 5'1, 5'5, 4'6. That's a five and a half pound beast. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. Look at the size of it. Unbelievable. This is an Amazonian looking fish. It's incredible. Look at the size. Just look at this monster. Beautiful, beautiful peacock bass. Come on, kick off. You're good. Look at her go, man, such a big fish. Thank you for that fight, incredible. Well, that was unexpected. Whew. That was the monster I was hoping for. I mean, I wasn't really thinking that was gonna happen. Five and a half pound beast. My biggest large mouth is six pound, two ounces in Indiana. It's raining now, so that's not very fun. I'm gonna be under the bridge for a few minutes, but wow. Thank you for producing such incredible fish here. I love Florida. Florida is number one. You can't beat it. We've got good fish in here. 
Let's see if we can get another one. Hopefully no one heard me scream like a little girl when I caught that. Man, I was fired up. That's pretty cool. Caught that fish, just free line and a little hook in there. And uh, luckily I didn't horse it too bad because that fish knows what to do when it's caught. And it went underneath both pillars. And so when it went around the pillars, what I did was I just let up on the, the tension a little bit, relax a little, not try to horse him too bad. And then whenever he'd come out to try to maybe run to the next pillar, back the other direction, that's when I would pull real hard to try to get him in there. And uh, I can't believe that ended up happening. I just got cheap monofilament on these poles because they're my Junkos that I use in Florida. But uh, that's a beast of a fish. So whenever he'd run between these, that's when I would pull in. So if he'd go that way, I'd let up. He'd go that way, I'd let up. But when he was in the middle, I'd pull real hard. That way that line doesn't chafe up too bad. But that's a lucky catch, honestly. Unfortunately, not all of it was on camera. I was slipping all over this wall and just going crazy. Super happy to have caught that fish. I just can't can't even express how thankful I am to be able to do that. Trying to steal my bait. So is this guy. Right there. Go. Go. Get out of here. Like a nice one. There we go. Beautiful peacock. Gonna end on a high now. Last peacock of the day. Beautiful little peacock bass. Right off that first pillar. Most of my fish come off that first pillar. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, by far the best day of peacock fishing I've ever had. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. Uh, if you ever get a chance, come out here and try it. All you need is really cheap gear. You need a fishing pole, a hook, and some live bait. That's it, and a bridge, really. Bridges really help. Any type of structures, what you want, whether it's a pipe or a bridge, either one should produce some peacocks. But uh, very lucky and very thankful to be able to be out here. But thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you on another Peacock Adventure. Peace.